We're Tanya and Adam, and we're traveling around Europe in jitters for a year. We're stuck in Ireland. We can't get out because it's so beautiful. We're three weeks behind our original plan because there's so much more to see along the wild Atlantic way than we anticipated. But I guess that's one of the great things about van life. We get to make up our plans as we go along. After exploring some local bars, cliffs, a lighthouse, caves, spending some time with locals and a fellow van lifer, and a quick visit to Father Ted's house, we made our way to the Burren. The Burren, meaning Great Rock, is an iconic part of the Irish landscape, said to expand up to 560 square kilometres. It was formed by geological forces, including the collision of continents and the expansion and contraction of polar ice caps over 300 million years ago. So we've just been driving uh, through the Burren. Burren? The Burren. Um, and Tanya is now going to cut my hair because it has got beyond control. <laughs> Isn't that right, Tanya? Yes, beyond control. The sun actually now sets at uh, five o'clock, so we've only got <laughs> so like. So depressing. Yeah, it's so depressing. So we've only got like an hour of light. So we better go cut my hair. Yeah, let's do it. We do have a hat around, don't we, in case like this goes terribly wrong. Yeah, we do. Tanya's not particularly experienced at cutting hair, I don't think. Nope. Trying to find the perfect haircut spot. After a few weeks in County Clare, we left to make our way up to Connemara National Park in Galway for our first parking spot without a sea view. So we arrived here at night, so couldn't exactly tell what it would, um, what it looked like, but we've just woken up and it looks like this. It actually feels a little bit like Canada, or how I imagine Canada to be lakes and mountains basically so it is beautiful um and at the moment we are sleeping in well i'm sleeping in my hat because since tanya's chopped off all my hair my head gets very cold at night you've been using it before as well yeah but especially now yeah. uh adverbals and, and, and i sleep with <laughs> a thermal and two jumpers two jumpers <laughs> yeah but it's okay. And then I get extra blankets because Adam doesn't need as many blankets as me. Yeah, I'm just under a duvet. And we've also decided that Tanya's haircut, or, or, well, my haircut that Tanya did, makes me look like a boy. <laughs> well, right now it makes you look really like a boy. Oh, uh, why? <laughs> because it's all like spiky and stuff. Oh, well, anyway. You've all had hair. You can't blame I look like a baby because because I've just got a round head now. Yeah. But that's sure. okay. I still look better than I did. Yeah, I need to go again. Um... Ooh, I think it's the hat hair. I don't think it was me. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go fly the drone now because uh, over there, there is beautiful sunrise colours. Colours. Beautiful sunrise colours. It was hard to believe we were still on the wild Atlantic way route. The mountains, rugged landscape and open roads felt like a world away from the wild coast and Atlantic Sea. But in reality we were only about a 10 minute drive inland. This time of year means quiet roads and beautiful light and we soaked it in. Taking our time and making the most of the short days, we parked alongside an endless road overlooking an epic mountainscape. Tanya's making another 
full English. Another full Irish. Oh, sorry, full Irish. Did <laughs> that was a genuine you? mistake, yeah. <laughs> was it actually genuine? Cause yeah, because it is a full English breakfast. I never have a full Irish breakfast. Well, it's like, it's a full Irish. So we've got the sausages, and the tofu for the scrambled tofu. We're going to have toast, beans on toast, like always. And yeah, and just enjoy with the view. This is amazing. Vegan junk food. Yay. Woo! Oh, for f sake. Delicious. That evening we drove to the foot of Diamond Hill, ready to climb it first thing in the morning. Yes, please. Let's do coffee. Great. And now some soy milk. Tanya is making some lentil soup for the walk, so we've got some snacks. This is our little 12 volt blender that actually seems to be doing quite a good job. So good. Ooh. You can feel the heat come off that. It's very nice. Already? Whoa, yeah. It's right? Already? Yeah. Oh, that's why there's a sign here that says this appliance should not be used to heat the interior <laughs> yeah. of the vehicle. Although it's uh, very tempting. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's steamy. Ready to hike? Yeah. So the hike is supposed to take about three hours. Um, and we've got distracted by some goats. We've been here for about half an hour. <laughs> and we've walked for about like five, five minutes. minutes. Yeah. Um, but the goats are really cute. They're climbing trees to eat and one of them just fell out of a tree. The Diamond Hill Trail is friendly for walkers. It's well signposted with plenty of gravel paths, boardwalks over marshlands and steps edged into the rock up to the summit. How are you finding it? Good. So here we are, we're almost at the top. There's Adam over there racing me. <laughs> no! Wait, is this even the top? Is that the top? I think that's the top. Yeah. As we ascended, we were treated by spectacular views all around from the islands on the Connemara coastline to a haven of mountains, including the 12 Bends. The perfect spot to enjoy our lentil soup. Well, it looks disgusting, but... <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. I mean, I'm not one to toot my own horn, but that is delicious. So we are heading back down now to because it got suddenly got very very cold. Very cold. My hands are numb. And I've got my mitts. yellow mitts. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna head back down, have a nice cup of tea and a shower. Yay! Warm up. Quick, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Coming jets, we're coming home. One of the reasons I love jets 
one of the many reasons I love Jutz is the fact that she looks like the emoji. <laughs> she does! She looks She's like the original, she's before the emoji. The emoji looks like her. The best thing about this kind of like coming home to a van is that we've just come down from our hike and home is there. Like that is it, we're now at home. Right, I'll get the hot water on. Should I show them how the, how the hot water works? Yeah, yeah, go on. So, probably a bit dark in here. Yeah, a bit dark. Let's open up that. So, the hot water, you literally just press this button here. Oh wait, you have to turn on the gas. Oh, is the gas not on? No. So you turn the gas on. <laughs> Step one, with Adam. In the little gas cupboard there. Do, do, do. Yeah. Lovely. And then you press this button here. And that has ignited a little flame on the boiler underneath Jits. And we will have in about 10 minutes, it makes it warm. 20 minutes, it makes it really hot. And we'll have 60 litres of hot water ready to shower or wash up or do whatever we want. Yeah, so we just so set good. the timer and yeah, yeah. shower and time. This is, the, this is the shower because lots of vans don't have showers. There you go, very simple. That's a tease of the van tour because we're not going to do a whole van tour now, but at some point there will be a van tour video. Oh, I can't wait. If you would like a van tour from me and Adam. Well, mainly you, but mainly me. I'll only, film only it. because like I go into the nitty gritty details. Like I've def I've done this with friends. I get very passionate because I love it. Um, yeah, if you want a van tour, comment below. Let us know. If you've got any questions about how Jits works, comment. Yeah, and then we'll include that in the van tour. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>